In this example of saving a session, we'll show how a preloaded state of GeoMap app can be saved and shared with others. So in the example, we'll load the Smithsonian Global Volcanism Project catalog to show the location of volcanoes in the Cascadia Pacific Northwest area. And we'll also load the depth to the top of the subducting slab from the Mercrory et al. dataset. So for this, we go to data layers and we can either navigate through the menus, geology, volcanoes and seamounts, and choose the Smithsonian Global Volcanism Project menu item. Or if we can't remember where they are, then we just go into the click off terrible menus, searchable menus and type in say uh, Smithsonian and return. And then we make the window a bit wider and we look at what the items are and there it is. So we choose that and click OK and it loads the volcanoes. Let's zoom in on the Pacific Northwest here, up here, okay. And we'll change the symbols. So let's configure them as say red triangles. So we change these, choose triangles, change the size of the symbol, hit OK. And now we go and load the depth to the top of the subducting slab. If we go into the uh, data layers menu and type, um, say, slab and see what comes up, then we have various items. Let's see. Ah, slab depth, Cascadia. There's the Juan de Fuca plate Mercoria tell data set. We select that, click OK, and minimize that. And here is the the uh, grid of the depth to the top of the subducting slab. So for this, we can do various things. Let's change the color. We'll make it black and white, and we'll change the range of the gray scale there. And we can put contours on it. Say so we'll do every 10 kilometers and make it bold every 20 kilometers, like so. And let's switch the order so the volcanoes come up to the top. For, for that, we go into the layer manager and we bring the volcanoes to the top. And we can change the opacity of this layer, the depth to the slab layer, by dragging this like this. Let's put it, say, there. And let's zoom in uh, one more step. And we can make the window my pet window a bit taller so we see more of the volcanoes. So for something like this you could imagine an educator is talking about the relationship between the distance of volcanoes from the trench um, based on the depth of the subducting slab and look at relationships between that depth to the top of the slab and the volcano uh, position. And since we have a grid loaded we could also generate a profile so let's draw a profile across here. And here is the, uh, let's just make this window a bit shorter, is the depth to the top of the slab. And so students can use this to quantify some of their uh, observations. So this is how we want the data sets to be loaded. And we want to be able to give this as a preloaded instance of GeoMap app to the students. So now we have it how we want it. We go into File, Session Manager, Save Current Session. And we're asked how to save it. So we'll do it like this. And that's save the file. So now we're going to close this window and we'll open a new GeoMap app window. And so here's the new window and we import that saved session. So we go to session file, session manager, import save session. And we go and find the file. It's this one and we hit OK and off it goes and it's loading the different items. And there we go. So we have the volcanoes, the contour depth to the top of the slab and uh, there's the layer manager. And just like before, the students can now just generate their profiles right away without having to spend time finding the different menu items like that.